Hi, I'm Dave Griffith with Joe & Company Smith & Wilson and today I'm going to give you a brief overview of Air Monitor Corporation and their different product offerings. So Air Monitor Corporation has two different styles of airflow monitoring. They've got the differential pressure over here to my left and they've got the thermal dispersion over here to my right. So they've got the volume probe here, which is a probe, a uh, pitot tube style. And then here they've got the outside air monitor, the OIM, which will measure it in an outside duct. And you use the Voltron DPT2500 plus transmitter to measure both of those with fantastic accuracy up to 0.25%. And then over here to my right, the thermal dispersion style, we've got the Electroflow SD. They are also coming out with an Electroflow GS soon. Those both have integral style transmitters. And then here, we've got the Electroflow Probe. And you can get up to 16 of those daisy chained together, one next to each other. And that will all come back to the Electroflow transmitter. One of Air Monitor's most exciting pro products is the OAM2. Uh, again on the second iteration of that and what that does is it measures outside air now what it will do is it'll measure the outside air on an outside duct and it measures it with differential pressure uh, it takes the high and the low side and it does that through a known entity like this extruded metal so you would install this in the duct and it would take the measurements on both sides and using the Veltron DPT2500 Plus, uh, it would be able to extrapolate how much air is flowing through that. And because it's a known size and a known resistance, we can go ahead and we can measure the differential pressure on that. It's one of the most exciting products. And if you come out with very little other than this, is you should give us a call to ask about how we can make your life simpler with the OAM. Another fantastic product is the Volu Probe. It is a pedo style tube. Uh, Air Monitor makes their pedo style tubes in-house and they've got multiple different styles of tubing available. That is all figured out based off of your duct size and your application. And then we had mentioned the Veltron DPT2500 Plus. This can read down to accuracies of 0.25 percent plus or minus and there are also other models, other versions available to suit your needs. Now on to Air Monitor's thermal dispersion technology. Uh, first off, we've got the Electroflow SD, which has the integral transmitter. Uh, you can go ahead and see how it's got two thermistors. Again, they are matched thermistors, and it is a differential temperature uh, calculation. Uh, they've got the SD right now. They are also moving on towards the GS. We'll have more information about the GS in videos to come. And then additionally, they've got the Electroflow Probe. Now the Electroflow probes are fantastic. They don't have integral transmitters, but they do allow you to daisy chain up to 16 of these together. And it's as simple as taking the connector and connecting one to another. I don't know if anybody's ever been out in the field wiring things up, but being able to take the wire and just easily connect it is absolutely fantastic. And then it allows you to take one of these and then just take the home run back to the transmitter. And talking about the transmitter, uh, I'm sure everybody wonders how easy it is or how hard it'll be to set up a transmitter. And so in order to tell you, I figured I'd just show you. So first we need our handy Job screwdriver. We're going to go ahead and pop this open. And then we've got the pre-wired power supply. Now this takes either 24 volts AC or DC, depending on what you need. And then we're just going to go ahead and make the connection going to go ahead and screw this back in and then we're going to take what would be the home run with up to 16 different uh, with up to 16 different probes and we're going to connect it and then we are simply going to turn it on and it is going to say thank you for choosing air monitor and then it is currently right now telling us that it has found one sensor so it has found one of one sensors and then the first time you set this up, it's going to go through a warm-up process, which is what it is currently doing. And the reason why it is doing that is I did say that these were matched thermistors. It heats one of these thermistors in order to measure the temperature and then the difference of the temperature as air flows through it.
So we have now just finished warming up. It is telling us that it is 78 degrees and there is zero airflow. And so I'm sure everyone wants to see how we measure the airflow. So with that, uh, we're gonna take our handy fan. And one thing to be cognizant of is it's got this airflow arrow. And we want to make sure that the airflow is going through the correct way. So we're gonna turn on the fan. We're gonna run the airflow through and it very quickly tells us that it's got airflow going through it and then as more and more air passes through it it comes up to our reading of just under 1100 uh, air feet per minute. Again I'm Dave Griffith with the Jobin Company, Smith & Wilson, and I wanted to thank you for taking some of your time out to learn about Air Monitor Corporation's products. If you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me personally, or you can reach out to either Steve, Walt, or Chaz. They also deal with Air Monitor on a regular basis. Uh, if you come out with nothing else today, I want you to remember that Air Monitor is simple, it's easy to install, and it'll save you time and money and if nothing else, remember to choose Air Monitor for all your air flow application needs.